Omaha cuts right through Northwest Arkansas and stops right here. Baum Stadium. The University of Arkansas, Florida State Seminoles taking on the Arkansas Razorbacks. I'm Eric Collins alongside Nick Survey. Here's Clinton Brannon who will go up against the Florida State Seminoles. Brannon, left-hander, junior from Bradford, Arkansas. This guy is a, a bulldog at our staff. 97 and third innings. Gorgeous facility here. Baum Stadium routinely gets voted as being one of the premier facilities in the entire college game. Recently renovated this past offseason. The artificial turf was ripped up and replaced with some natural grass. One, two again. This time slapped into left field, and we have our first base runner, Zach Sean with a single. Two, two pitch, something off speed, and drew way out in front, out number one. The one, two. Swung on and hit high and deep. Right center field giving chase. Roll it. Can't get it. To the wall. Around third base. Zetch being waved home. The throw. The tag. And Toops tags him out. Oh my. Action here in the first inning at Baum Stadium. What a great relay right there. That's how you draw it up. You're out there. Van Horn's club lines up like this as a team. A lot of speed throughout. They hit 293 as a club. Scott Hody. It's going to be a big part of what we're talking about over the next couple of days. Focus on what they have here going on. First ball swinging, rolling. Hits it high and deep down the left field line. That ball is gone. Casey Rowland. Just his third homer of the season. That looks like a ball, but he does. Got something he can handle. Cut fastball, but up. Yeah, it looked like it was up in the zone there, and I tell you, this type of atmosphere right now, anybody's dangerous who walks up to the plate, and you got to respect everybody. And that's that emotion going right now. Uh, Payoff pitch. Swung on and sliced to left field. Solid single for Clay Goodwin. He's aboard with one out. These guys are showing a lot of patience right now and using the whole field right now. They're really seeing the ball. He's two for his last 38. They're going to need him. And he comes through. First ball swinging, laces it down the left field line. Stopping at second base is Goodwin after a big turn. But a good sign for the Arkansas Razorbacks and a bad sign for the Florida State Seminoles. But Scott Hody may be getting a confidence. Back. Payoff pitch. Brandon has battled back. Misses downstairs. Double Razorback. Way outside. Ball gets away from the catcher. On to second base goes Saul. Little check swing didn't mean to. Back to the mound. Brandon has it. His only play is at first. Advances the runner 90 feet. But out number two is recorded. Robinson swings and bounces it through the hole and into left field. That'll drive in a run. And the Florida State Seminoles are on the board. Tie game at one apiece. Goes down deep to get that one. And pokes it into right center field. Possibly extra bases. Trying to run it down to Salt. Has trouble picking it up, and in the second base goes Goodwin. And you like to see that. Payoff pitch. Line through the hole, past the diving, Stephen Drew. Here comes the runner around third, and he will score easily. Goodwin scores on the single by Hody. Now he's two for two with an RBI. Yeah, right now, he's thinking I'm the hottest hitter in college baseball. Forget the slow pilot. Haven't seen one of those. The pop-up's always an adventure behind the plate when you got that type of wind. And that ball almost took off the head of Clinton Brandon. Solid line drive, single to center field by Ryan Malone. Steps in. Swings to the first pitch. Underneath the glove of the second baseman into center field. Chugging over towards third and making it in safely is Ryan Malone. A little bit of hit and run right there, and it works to perfection. Brian Zetch. Hard hit ball. That's going to fall. One run scores. Ball bobbled out in right field, and that allows the runner to move all the way over to third base. Gibbs Chapman checks into third. A two out base hit by Dennis Anderson. Ball and two strikes. Runners on at the corners. Little reach out, and Zetch may have himself a base hit. Gets past the second baseman. Coming in to score is Chapman heading over to third, and in with a face first dive is Anderson. A little excuse me base hit gives the Seminoles a lead. Hard hit ball down the left field line. Giving chase is Chapman. He looks up and this ball is gone. Brady Chapman were tied up. No one wanted.
wants to distance himself from anyone else. Deja vu from last week. He hit one to left field to help him win that game going opposite way. He's clear. 1-0 pitch to him. Hit on the ground past the shortstop. Hody into center field. One-out base hit. For Cheeseman. Virginia two out of three. 2-2 two -two pitch. Hit through the hole on the right side. Battle advance Cheeseman to second base, but no further. Back-to-back -back base hits by Cheeseman and Malone. And don't look now. Ball hit to right field, going back on it as Bridges, still going back, looking up, can't make the play. That'll score two, Cheeseman in, coming around third base is Malone, and he'll make it without a throw. A two-out, two-run double for Gibbs Chapman, gives Florida State a 5-3 to three lead. He's replaced by Boyd Goodner, right-handed pitcher from Benton, Arkansas, now appearing in game number 31. See, two and three record, sparkling ERA, but... High pop-up. This will be playable for someone. Who wants it? Calling for it, the shortstop, Hody. Little Willie Mays basket catch for him. That'll do it, but not before two more runs score. Landary, come down south to play for the Razorbacks. And now he's three for three. <laughs> Hard to believe, but Scott Hody is making Dave Van Horn look brilliant. That's why stats a lot of times don't mean anything. It's just reference of history. 1-2 pitch, laced into the gap in right center field. That may go. Nope, it's going to be cut off. Hody being waved around third base. Oh, we're going to have a play at the plate. Throw gets away from Cheeseman, and Hody scores. If Cheeseman makes that catch, Hody's dead to rights. And it's now a one-run game again. 5-4. to four. Toops gets hit on the leg. That may make it through. It does. Pass it out in second base minute. Coming around. Scoring the run at home. And safe at third base is Brady Toops. Dangerous base running right there by the Razorbacks, but it pays off. A run scores. Brady second. Brady Toops at third. Hard hit ball in the right field. One run will score. Day trips over third. He'll be stopped. Throw to second base. Not in time. Good base running by Scott Bridges to move up to second base. Hits this one hard. Pass that I've been first baseman Pratt into right field. Drew, the first round pick for the Arizona Diamondbacks on base for the first time today. The 3-0. Way outside and they had no intention of working on Martinez this seven. Outside didn't give it a chance. So the second consecutive Base on ball. The 3-1. High drive. It's going to stay in the ballpark. Now on the right field side. Giving chase and making the catch is Bridges. So a whole lot of nothing right there for Florida State. They love it. Hody, a perfect 3-for-3 three three so far today. Swings and it goes off the pitcher. And that's going to be a base hit. Scott Hody, 4-for-4. Four four. What a way to snap out of a 2-for-38 slide. Amazing. It really is. 2 1 pitch. Swung on it. Hammered in the left field. That'll drop for a base hit. Pratt his first knock. And runners on at first and at second here in the bottom of the sixth inning. Pratt on at first. He singled as well. Opposite field swinging. Up with the ball is the third baseman Anderson over to second. And the out is her. Jason Watsky comes on. Kind of a, an unusual situation now. Well, yeah. They, they on don't. Monday by the Minnesota Twins. He's got a real good arm. Bouncing ball to short. It's going to be a tough play. Hody across the diamond in time. Out number one. The 0-2. Oh, Paul yeah. strike three. 3-2 three, pitch. Little flare into right field. That's going to drop. So another base hit for Devin Day. Good speed on it first. There he goes. Pitch misses outside. Throw to second base. In time. Good peg down there by Cheeseman. And Day is retired for just the second time all year. Manning release. Stay behind the ball. Let the ball get deep to him. Great throw. Duggar hits the ball down the line, and now he's chugging for two. Throw's going to be cut off, and a two-out double for Jake Duggar puts him in scoring position. And now, how big does that caught ceiling look? One-two. Hammered out to right field, coming on quickly and making the catch is Bridges. 
First pitch to Cheeseman. Swings. There we go. Hey. And hits it. Two out linemen. In the right field. A little soft single for him. And now you're getting to the dangerous part. Runner on his first plate. Ball hit high in the air. Playable if they can find it. Underneath it is Roulette. And he makes the catch. Sun shining down in his eyes. But no problem at all. First ball swinging. Gets past the diving first baseman Malone. That's going to rattle around down there. Chugging into second base. Easily with the double is Clay Goodwin. 1-1 one, one pitch, last in the left field. They're going to send the runner. There's going to be a play at the plate. No, they cut off the throw. Run scores, and they got Hamlin in a pickle. Hamlin's a dead duck at second base, but he gets the job done. Clay Goodwin scores, and an insurance run that could be pivotal crosses home plate. It's now 7-5 as we head into inning number 9. Ball hit off the knuckles. Softly to second base. Day over the first two out. Excited. And that ball's trouble. Possible extra bases for Robinson. He's quick. He's getting a second very easily. And he'll be at second with a stand-up double. Yeah, but don't go anywhere just yet. So Watsky deals. Strike three. Punches him out. And Jay Sawatsky, sensational. In three innings of work, he shuts down the Seminoles. So the fans here at Bomb Stadium enjoying it. Their team is one win away from Omaha. Great job. Typical Arkansas finding a way to win.